I'm an indie filmmaker in Columbus, Ohio. I made the documentary Social Media Monster that follows an internet troll. I got a civil stalking protection order, he has warrants for his arrest, and he's still harassing me and others. This is another update on how a cyber predator continues to stop our film from being released. Right in the beginning it says, um, actually he was evicted. And I can explain, no, I wasn't evicted because I was unhappy with my landlord building on a toxic waste site. And then I can say, here, look at these emails right here. One of the small things we mention in the documentary is that Matthew had been evicted from his apartment in Des Moines. Matthew has contested this and said he owned a condo and that he was never evicted. That I've got a statement from my landlord in Iowa that says that I wasn't evicted. Last month I was in Des Moines, Iowa for the Interrobang Film Festival, part of the Des Moines Arts Festival. I did a Q&A after the screening and then the next day I went to the courthouse to pick up some court paperwork. I obtained these records and they clearly state that Matthew was in fact evicted. And if you look at the date of the writ of possession, it's after I rented my place in St. Joseph. And so clearly it wasn't a traditional eviction. Clearly it wasn't a scenario where I didn't pay my rent. The court records clearly contradict everything Matthew is saying. Then they took him to small claims court to get over $2,000 in past due rent that he didn't pay. He tries to portray me as being evicted from my condo in Des Moines and then moving to St. Joseph. And of course I have in writing emails from Hubble where we agreed to sever and there was no eviction. And it was just a writ of possession because they had to be able to lawfully take possession of the apartment. So Matthew owed over two grand to this company in Des Moines for past due rent while he's paying rent on two spaces in St. Joseph, Missouri. So he had the money, but he refused to pay it. And so I can say, look, this guy can't even make it fucking one minute into this movie without lying. The reason why he has so little credibility and such a horrible reputability is because he says things that are demonstrably false. He will say things that are contradicted by witnesses and documentation. And yet he will continue to gaslight. 